Well, following the oil ban from Russia, President Biden is looking to other countries to ramp up energy production. Pennsylvania Republicans are calling on Biden to instead look inward and tap into the resources available right in the Commonwealth. But are their proposals actually possible? Pennsylvania House Republicans outlined legislative plans to divest from Russia by ramping up energy production within the state. As our nation and our world's leaders are looking to countries like Iran and Saudi Arabia, countries that do not share our values, for them to produce an increased production make up the difference, they really should be looking here at Pennsylvania. The U.S. imported nearly 245 million barrels of crude oil and petroleum products from Russia. Does Pennsylvania have the capacity to make up the difference? Pennsylvania's peak production is about 7 million barrels. <laughs> uh, so, you know, Russia's 245 million barrels, you know, our 7 million barrels that we're already producing. Even further, Republicans say Pennsylvania could end Europe's dependency on natural gas from Russia. Our goal must be energy dominance so that our friends and allies across the globe aren't dependent on petty tyrants like Vladimir Putin. The EU, heavily reliant on Russian fossil fuels, imported 5.4 trillion cubic feet of natural gas in 2021. We can't just turn on a switch and make this happen. This is a multi, multi-year project to do this sort of thing, and it would cost billions of dollars. The state would have to produce over 760,000 times the amount of natural gas in order to make up for that dependence. But it doesn't even look like they want it. When you look at how Europe has responded to this crisis, they've gone the other direction by saying we need to redouble and accelerate our transition to clean energy. Politicians here are saying we need the fuel to help them. They're saying no. Climate experts say increasing energy production right now will only create a bigger problem. We're not in a situation where we can say, well, we will increase production for now, and then sometime later we're going to decrease production. That doesn't work. We have to um, be off of fossil fuels in total, essentially within the next you know, 15 to 25 years. If we start to build new fossil fuel infrastructure today, it makes it impossible to hit the goals to protect the planet. For 18 News, I'm Rhea Chaw.